Dear members of the General Anthroposophical Society, gathered at the Goethe Arnhem and worldwide via Zoom, I would like to begin this longer presentation of my request entitled On the Restoration and Realization of the Statutes of the Anthroposophical Society in view of the centenary of the Christmas Conference in 2023 by first thanking the Council for giving me this rare opportunity to share with you here from the library of the Wilhelm Institute in Amsterdam what has led me to make this request which was downloaded uh, on the login section of the Goethe Arnhem website in German and English and in order to put the request in a large world historical perspective I headed it with the following motto quote what the code of Manu was for the ancient Indian people and the law of Moses for the ancient Israeli people that are Rudolf Steiner's statutes of the Christmas conference for the re-establishment of the anthroposophical society on behalf of the true Christianity of the future sixth cultural period. Now it is not possible here to explain this motto in great depth but what it means in short is that all the chosen peoples of the fifth post-Atlantean epoch beginning with the ancient Indian people who had migrated from Atlantis under the great initiate Manu to Central Asia followed by the ancient Persian people under Zarathustra then among others the ancient Egyptian people under Hermes Trismegistus and the ancient Israeli people under Moses all had to observe certain spiritual laws sacred codes in order to realize their earthly mission and just as the law of Moses the Ten Commandments served to prepare the ancient Jewish people for their sacred mission to give birth to the physical etheric and astral vessel in the person of Jesus from Nazareth for the incarnation of the cosmic Christ being at the baptism by John in the river Jordan in the year 30. So the statutes framed by Rudolf Steiner for the refoundation of the Anthroposophical Society and endorsed at the Christmas conference in Dornach in 1923 are the social corporality, the archetypal organizational form for the new true Christianity of the future sixth Slavic cultural period of the fourth millennium. You can see these seven cultural periods of the fifth post-Atlantean epoch here represented in this great graphic work of art entitled The Cosmic System, in German is it, by Willy Conrad from Basel, where almost the whole anthroposophy can be grasped, as it were, in the blink of an eye. I will come to speak about this triptych of Jeroen Bosch above me and the representative of humanity statue by Rudolf Steiner a little later. Now this is the spiritual background of what I have tried to express in my extensively motivated motions to the General Assemblies of 2018, 2019 and 2020. The last one entitled to willingly unite the new Christianity in love with the world for the healing of humanity and the earth. Although the motion as such was not dealt with by the General Assembly last year, it was nevertheless adopted as a recommendation 
by the board member and assembly chairman Justice Wittig in his introduction to the motion, contrary to what was contained in the official report of the Goethe Arnhem of Sebastian Jungel, which spoke only of the council taking note of the motion, something different. This motion with a small amendment I would now like to read because my request is addressed to it. In order to restore the contemporary form that the anthroposophical movement as the new true Christianity needs for its spiritual cultivation on earth and to prepare it for the next sixth cultural epoch, may the General Assembly encourage the Council of the General Anthroposophical Society to initiate and support a process for the whole of the society to create the necessary conscious awareness and social organic design that within the framework of the centenary celebrations in 2023 should lead to the disentanglement of the General Anthroposophical Society into four subdivisions, namely one, the Anthroposophical Society as such, the administration of the Anthroposophical Society, three, the administration of the Goetheanum building, and four, the Philosophical Anthroposophical Publishing Company at the Goetheanum. Now, I'm continuing now the second part of the motion. Since the form of the national societies worldwide and groups, of which there are some 70, must not contradict the constitution of the Anthroposophical Society, may the General Assembly also decide to encourage them to also adapt their constitution wherever necessary, which is probably uh, all over the place, into a vessel of the kind needed by the anthroposophical movement or the new Christianity for its cultivation. I have not done any research on the constitution of all these various national societies and groups, but my um, feeling is that none of them have really done the necessary amendments or adaption to the letter and the spirit of the Christmas conference. Now, the added amendment to the three subdivisions is the Philosophical Anthroposophical Publishing Company at the Goetheanum, which does in essence not change the nature of this request. In fact, more subdivisions could be added to the restructured General Anthroposophical Society if they comply with what Rudolf Steiner termed organically active associations. At that time he could only find four, but there may be many more now that could be included in the new General Anthroposophical Society. Now the present request, which refers to this motion, is motivated in detail in the written version by 12 points from the work of Rudolf Steiner, Herbert Witzemann, Valentin Tomberg, Judith van Halle, Reto Andrea Savodelli, and my own observations in the life of the Anthroposophical Society and the Free School gathered over more than 30 years. It is just not based on mere assumptions as a Dutch member from Thailand has maintained in a semi-public letter. This will hopefully become evident from the 12 points with references to further literature that I will now read out to you. <coughs> 1. Rudolf Steiner began his first report on the Christmas conference by writing, quote, to give the Anthroposophical Society a form such as the Anthroposophical Movement needs for its cultivation, 
this was what was intended by the recently ended Christmas conference. End of the quotation. What he meant with the term anthroposophical movement, he later explained, that was in Arnhem on July 18, 1924. He meant namely the new Christianity that was prepared in the spiritual world during the Michael cult and that the many anthroposophical souls involved in this supersensible cult and college were predestined to bring down to earth among humanity. 2. This true Christianity can only be fully realized in the next sixth cultural epoch, Rudolf Steiner said in his only lecture on Manichaeism. Nevertheless, its organizational form, as he termed it, must already be prepared now in this fifth cultural epoch. This was, according to my research, precisely the form that Rudolf Steiner, representing the individuality and spirituality of Manu, namely soul observation, conceived in the 15 statutes for the Christmas conference. And when Rudolf Steiner said at that time that the one and only task of the council was to realize these all-embracing statutes of freedom, this therefore meant to prepare the organizational form which the new true Manichaeism, the true Manichaean Christianity of the sixth Slavic cultural period requires for its ministry, for its realization. 3. That with the Christmas conference Rudolf Steiner inaugurated a new principle of civilization called social organics as the new form of the new Christianity, which since then, with the necessary moral intuition, imagination or fantasy and technique, can be realized everywhere on earth as oases of humanity and which once established and interconnected can offer a real perspective on a world peace union. This is what Herbert Witzemann in his social aesthetic studies has shown. Now, in the middle of the triptych, the garden of heavenly joys by Euronymous Bosch here above me, is represented such an oasis of humanity, or even a grail, as it is also called in the literature. A great spiritual interpretation of this world-famous but largely misunderstood work of art is given by a trilogy written by Catherine Barker, of which the first volume has been translated into English under the title the Garden of Heavenly Joys in the Light of the Teaching of Christian Rosenkreuz, in which he has shown that Ronald Bosch was a forerunner of the Rosicrucians and that also just as in this cosmic system, the basic principles of anthroposophy can be decoded. <coughs> Four. That moreover, this new Christianity is all, also the ultimate remedy of the diseases and distress caused by the currently dominating materialistic principle of civilization, such as COVID-19, as well as other symptoms acutely threatening humanity and the earth, such as transhumanism, which are being brought forth on the part of the illegitimate prince of this world and the Antichrist, Judith van Halle has shown in her booklet The Coronavirus Pandemic Anthroposophical Perspectives. I did a, a video on, on her book last year during, um, during uh, a Christian holiday on my uh, uh, Robert Kelder channel, YouTube. 
5. That the great friend of God, Rudolf Steiner, intended with the Christmas conference to further realize the form of the kingdom of God on earth, originally established by Christ Jesus during the mystery of Golgotha, emerges from what Valentin Tomberg writes in his book, Christ and Sophia, Anthroposophical Meditations on the New Testament. I quote, the purpose of humankind is to actively intervene at the point where the created, the finished work of the world ceases, and to continue what has remained incomplete. In this way, man takes over God's work of creation and thereby becomes himself a conscious co-worker, a friend of God. <coughs> a little bit further. One can also say, in other words, the finished kingdom, the finished kingdoms of nature, and also the kingdom of man, as it has become, are there. But man must realize a further, not yet realized kingdom, the kingdom of God. End of the quotation. Six. Rudolf Steiner's foundation stone meditation is thereby the renewed proclamation of this human kingdom of freedom and love on earth. The statutes of the Christmas conference are the guidelines for its realization. And Rudolf Steiner's statue, the representative of humanity, is the gateway to this kingdom of heaven on earth where the opposing powers can no longer exert any influence, are thus neutralized. And here to my right is the, is this poster of this large wooden sculpture, which has been placed, which should have been placed on center stage at the Goethe Alum in the Great Hall, but which now is housed in a special attic chamber for public viewing. Below the statue, is written in Dutch the last verse of the Rudolf Steiner's Foundation Stone Meditation, which in my English translation reads as follows. At the turning point of time, cosmic spirit light entered into the earthly being stream. Night darkness had held its sway. Clear daylight shone forth in human souls, light that warms the poor shepherds' hearts, light that enlightens the wise king's heads, divine light, Christus Son, warm our hearts, illumine our heads. And above this poster you have the saying, Michael Sophia in nomine Christi, the Wilhelm Ritter, Ritter uh, order, which means uh, knights, knights of the word in oprichting, in status nascendi. This is Michael Sophia, is the saying, the, the essence of a new chivalry that Valentin Tomberg suggested be created. Also Rudolf Steiner mentioned in his lectures on uh, Freemasonry that there should become created a new chivalry uh, in a new form, a new form of the Grail chivalry, Knights of the Word. Now, this meditation is still often recited in anthroposophical gatherings, especially its last verse. But what could be meant by these few last lines? That good may become what from our heart we want to found and from our head to lead purposely. Is this not the anthroposophical society itself that should become good? And can it be said that its refoundation at the Christmas conference in 1923 this beginning of a cosmic turning point in time has become good. In other words, 
that the Council had succeeded in its one and only task given by Rudolf Steiner to realize the statutes, that we still have a long way to go is borne out by the following point. Seven. For in the chapter, The Gradual Loss of Social Aesthetic Qualification in the General Anthroposophical Society, from the second volume of his as yet not translated trilogy on the activity of Herbert Witzmann in the Council at the Goethe Arnhem, 1963 to 1988, till his death, the author Reto Andrea Savodelli has described in detail how since the Christmas conference as many as nine of the paragraphs of the foundation statutes have been replaced, disregarded, or eliminated. Now, concerning the Constitution question in a narrow sense, and this is point eight, it may be said that no merger of the Anthroposophical Society with the renamed General Anthroposophical Society of the building, Gertjanum Building Association, on February 8, 1925, or at the 1926 Christmas conference has taken place on the basis of implied conduct in German concludentes verhalten. This was maintained in a ruling by a Swiss court of law in 2005 on the basis, however, of insufficient information supplied by the then ruling council. Nine. Despite this, the Council and the members have attempted for decades, although in the legally unsuitable framework of the modified statutes of the renamed Goetheanum Building Association, to continue to pursue the tasks and aims of the Christmas Conference Society. The keyword is there, the mixed king. This cultivation of the culture of the Christmas Conference over many decades has had a reality-forming effect according to the principle of customary law. For this reason, one can indeed speak of an implied fusion of the Anthroposophical Society with the General Anthroposophical Society. 11. The General Anthroposophical Society thus has the real possibility to, to disentangle this fusion in the sense of the unified constitutionality desired by Rudolf Steiner, in other words, of restructuring it in such a way that the council represents the unifying element between the component parts, so that the administrative tasks can be carried out outside the anthroposophical society and within it on the basis of a contemporary and spiritually appropriate restoration in the spirit of the age and realization of its foundation statutes, a sole realm of etheric consciousness can be created for the indwelling of the new Christianity for the healing of humanity and the earth. Last point 12. In such a way, the in principle greatest social work of art of the 20th century would be restored as a realm of supernature which can successfully resist and combat the evil machin machinations from the realm of subnature, as Rudolf Steiner has left us as his legacy in his last essay from nature to subnature. Now, Here's my request. In view of the centenary celebration of the Christmas conference in 2023, the General Assembly asks the Council to examine whether the procedure outlined in these 12 points to restore and realize the form for the cultivation of the anthroposophical movement as a new Christianity 
which was intended at the Christmas conference in 1923, but which has since been seriously damaged and abandoned, is also legally feasible, and if so, to make this known to the members within six months. If this is not possible, may the council indicate how it might then be possible. Thank you for your attention.